Hello everybody, today we are going to unbox Acer Nitro 5. This is a gaming laptop. I cover the serial, it's kind of older model, but it has uh, NVIDIA RTX 3060 video card, which is by far the most important thing in uh, um, for gaming. So uh, if you want to save a little bit, you may choose this model. It's still sold uh, in 2023, even though it has kind of old right now, i5 11th gen. Uh, it's kind of dated right now, I would say. Um, screen is fine, 15.6 full HD IPS, 144 Hz, this is fine. 8 gig of RAM, um, could, be, could be 16, 16 would be much better, but uh, it, is, it is what it is. Um, 256 uh, PCI Express SSD, Wi-Fi 6. Uh, everything looks fine, and uh, video card is by far the strongest uh, thing in it. Uh, here we can see the model number and part number. EPC over here. Even though 13 Gen came out already and 12 is pretty good uh, compared to 11th, or like in this one, but uh, in video games, in most of them, video card is by far the most important thing and uh, uh, an average CPU like here, it will be fine. Um, I would say RAM would be more important. 16 gig of RAM would be better. I think there is a model uh, similar to that with 16 gig of RAM. So if, if you find something with 16 gig, uh, it will be better. Yep. And if you need more storage, there are probably models with uh, more storage with 512 or one terabyte. The box comes with a seal over here, double seal kind of. And uh, this is the front seal and it often gets broken just by itself. This often unglues by itself and this gets broken. That's kind of thing with a, a lot of Acer laptops. Charger here, laptop there. This is pretty good protection. I've just took everything out. This is a manufacturer date, 328. Yep, it's already almost a year old. And uh, the model itself might be uh, even from 2021. I guess. Charger here. Let's take a look. Chikoni. Uh, Chikoni makes chargers uh, not just for Acer. I'm pretty sure I've seen them in uh, other laptops. 180 watt, which is uh, not too much, but uh, should be fine. Color name is Shale Black. This pretty black. It says Nitro over here. Red plate over there, charging, some ventilation. It's uh, it's not too thick for a gaming laptop. I would say it's probably on a thinner side for a gaming laptop. We have Ethernet here, two USB-A, uh, headphone input, consistent lock. Let's look over here. HDMI, another USB-A and USB-C, which is pretty good. We have everything except for SD card slot, but it almost never comes with the laptops, with the gaming laptops. 144 Hertz, Full HD, Acer, there's a bezel here. Uh, it's kind of on a bigger side, we have webcam over here. And this for software closing. And this. We have red keyboard, red backlit keyboard, RTX i5. It has another hard drive slot, and uh, you can use um, SATA SSD instead, 2.5. SSD, which will be great instead of a hard drive. Mm -hmm. uh, wi Fi 6, very good. Dual fan, this gaming audio, HDMI. Okay, these buttons are highlighted, they feel about the same when you touch them. W has this thing over here. Buttons are nice to touch, uh, definitely on the lighter side. 
not the lightest but pretty light to touch no clicks we have this over here and power button over there um, I like when it's more off but well it is what it is we have it here at least it's not somewhere there where you can accidentally press it instead of backspace or enter so it's over here numeric keyboard we have some volume options here the material the material quality is uh, it's pretty good, I would say. It uh, feels nice, feels nice on touch. Uh, this part where the screen, this is very cheap plastic. But uh, this part where the keyboard is, the one that you touch, this one is nice. And here it's fine. It is probably the cheapest uh, gaming laptop with a RTX 3060 or one of the cheapest. And um, that's the most important thing in games. If you want to save some money, you can definitely save on CPU, like in this case. Um, you can add another 2.5 SATA SSD to this one or hard drive. So we have more storage. More RAM definitely would be also great. If you have a 16, it would be good, it would be much better. And um, that would make it a really good uh, computer, uh, even with a kind of slower CPU. but. CPU often does not really matter because most of games will still be limited by video card, not by CPU. CPUs uh, don't get outdated so fast. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.